Grab the tram. Strangers, believe me when I say, loving me is loving danger. Your heart is bound to break. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm a. I'm a lone wolf. Levantares voo com o drone para filmar uma zona bonita e esqueces de pôr a gravar. Sim. Aconteceu-me <risos> no Uruguai, quando estava lá na Fortaleza. Oh my God! Eu estava a lá para fora, o que é que estás a fazer? É. Esqueci de filmar. Pois. Ups! Ups! Ai, b****! Run! Pois foi? They want to kill us, man. They want to kill us. <laughs> Is there really anything quite as good as riding with your mates? <laughs> I don't think so. Especially if one of them is somewhat of an personal idol. <laughs> Welcome back to Lisbon. We, are, we just left the viewpoint of Nossa Senhora do Monte and we are now heading down back to the main plazas of the downtown of Lisbon. But this time moving away from the riverside area. As you can see, Lisbon is made of hills. Actually, Obrigado. And historically, there are seven of them, and they all have names of saints, with the exception of one that is a name of a church. This one here is Saint André, and like I said in the last episode, it was from this hill that our first king, Afonso Henriques, made camp to attack the castle that was under the moors at the time during the Reconquista of the Iberian Peninsula. All these hills, are one of the reasons that we don't have many bicycles in Lisbon. Although, in later years, the city hall of Lisbon made bike lanes on the more outer zones of the city that are less hilly. We are still having luck with the weather because it has been raining for weeks now. Very rare in Lisbon, but today is a bit better. But still, the cobblestones are wet and those tram lines are very, very dangerous, so we must be careful. Grab the tram! When I was, yeah. when I was a little kid, I used to go on them outside, hanging out. Yeah. Crazy, man, crazy. <laughs> Those kids asked our friend to wrap the bike up. So we are heading now to the main plazas of downtown Lisbon. This is Avenida Almirante Reis that ends on the square of Martim Muniz in honor of the night that we talked about last time out. Of the entire city, this zone here is the most multicultural of them all. You can find stores of many origins in the nearby commerce. And along with Martim Muniz Square, it was a troubled zone with not much security. These days, with extensive restoration of this area, it improved a lot and it's possible to visit without any problems.
This area is traditionally commerce rich, but also has some hotels and restaurants that were introduced with the zone improvements. And this is very good since we are just minutes away from the castle and all this historic area. Praça da Figueira is a square, very close to the Rousseau Square, and before the earthquake of 1755, it was the site of Todos dos Santos Hospital, whose foundations were laid bare during the construction of the current underground car park. In the design of Marques de Pombal for this area, the square had become the main market in the city, and in 1885, a covered market was built there demolished in the 1950s. Today, the four-story buildings are occupied by hotels, shops and coffee shops, and the square is no longer a market. One of the interesting features is the bronze equestrian statue of the King Don Juan I, erected in 1971. Nice. Dom Pedro IV, the square, better known as Rousseau, has been one of the nerve centers of the city of Lisbon. In the Roman period, there was actually a horse race course, and even by then, it was a place of gathering. Still, in the Middle Ages, it began to be surrounded by buildings of various natures. In the 15th century, the Royal Hospital of Todos os Santos was established in this century, built in the reigns of Don Juan II and Don Manuel I, kings of Portugal. Here to our left is a Rousseau train station that has a beautiful frontal building face, and just next to it, is another square named Restauradores and it has an obelisk with 30 meters high inaugurated in April the 28th, 1886 commemorating the liberation of the country of Portugal from Spanish rule in the 1st December 1640. Just next to it is the main avenue of Lisbon, Avenida da Liberdade, also originated in Marquês de Pombal plan in fact, on the other end of this avenue is the biggest square of Lisbon with a statue of himself. It is the place of the most expensive shops and hotels and it is similar in a way to the Champ Elysee in Paris. Só tu e eu 
Lisboa É só tu e Só tu e...